that I don't want to declare. Only in BB declaration is not mandatory, right? So type of declaration of type of variant is mandatory. So when I say declaration, what is that? Say for example, whatever I am trying to use, the characters that I like to use, whether it is string, whether it is integer, integer also is a variant, int also I can use it. Int string all small letters, then int is not considered as an object, integer is an object. What is that? I will show you. Even string is an object then I can use it as a float. I can make this as a variance. Float is a variant. Right? So some of the times I am not getting into more complex or Java objects because that is not our aim. Our aim is to just manage string manipulation, conditional statements, loop statements, etc. etc. So this is about Java variance. Then I have called conditional statement. Verification, if this is this, how do you manage? If then else, etc. etc. Then you have loop statement. Loop statement, you have so many for loop, while loop, do while loop, right? Uh, so you have so many loop statements, right? So let us first start with string manipulation, that is string or integer or a code variance. We manage now the variables and managing the variable types. Then we move on to loops. Then we move on to the conditional statements. Conditional, whether logical condition or uh, arithmetic condition, all are uh, acceptable. All arithmetic operators, logical operators are all usable under JavaScript. So let us start with now. I'll go to the application. Let me close the I'll start with new scripts. I'll close the existing scripts now. I'll work on a empty script. So file new I now open MC functional script because I am not having any repository now. Test object map is not there. I am now going with MC functional script under project 2. I manage it over here, say Java system. I say finish. I have created MC script over here. Right? If you see in this open import, this ft dot script is very important. This has to be imported available for managing the Java scripting. So it is already part of it, so I don't have to worry about it. Here most of the recognition happens inside the test object or anything, any of the class. Basically depending on the import resources, this will be explained on the day one. Right? So now I go here. I want to now simple thing, I want to declare it as with a starting with a string. So I want to declare string uh, say var one equals Put it within code RFP. Then uh, end of the line is semicolon. End of the line is semicolon. Then string var to training. Right? End of the line is semicolon. So now we have used string var1, string var2. Right? I want to pass the string to the console. That is the value of the string to the console. Then 
it is system dark. If you put dark, you can see the intelligence is appearing. The intelligence will is a part of the eclipse. So system out, out is a small dot print alert. That means I am putting it into the console, print line. I am putting it into the console. What do you want to put into the console? I want to put var1 into the console. End of the line, system out. Print L var2. Now I want to concatenate var1 and var2 into another string. So I declare a string now, var3. I want to put var1 plus var2. Very simple, var1 plus var2. Very simple over here. Concatenation operator is plus symbol. Because it is true, directly I can concatenate the string. I want to pass the string to the log. Log in 4. Var 3. End of the line, semicolon. So, basic initial scripting that we have done. We have declared two variables with a string as a type. We have put that string out into the console. The console is what you see in the here. This is my console window. So I can see the result over here. Then I put that into the log at the end. I am putting it to the log. Also I want to put it to the console system dot out dot print alarm. Right, var3. So I can do that as well. So it is taken care now. I execute the script. There is no object now. So I just have to run it. Test object map will be empty over here. So now you can see here on the console, RFT training, RFT training. So this is RFT is var1, var2 is RF training, then concatenating var1 plus var2, it is RFT. For introducing a space, I put a space over here. Otherwise, it will be without a space, so I put a space over here. So if I go to the report, in this report, you notice now, var3, where I put a log info, that log info is passing that value over here. So, it is simple concatenation operator. This much, if you know, it is more than sufficient for initial understanding. For getting into a log, etc., for testers, this will become much easier than getting into the debugging, etc., etc. So, now, this itself, you can use it as a debugger. Next is, I want to manage the integer. So, again, declare it. So, I will say now, uh, what declaration I will So, I will say I want integer, say 5, semicolon end of the character, int I2, 10, semicolon end of the character, then int I3 equals I1 arithmetic operation I1 plus I2. It's an arithmetic operation. So we have added these two. Now I want to pass this to the system dot out dot print ln right. Then I3 absolutely no issue. I can pass it out. Now log in four. Log in four. Right? I now pass the I three. So now you can see it is the red color is not going off. 
you can see now this red color is not going up because the method log info is what's the only string in the type, whereas you are supplying integer into the type. Since we are supplying an integer, it is not log info will not work with the integer. So I need to convert this. So how do I convert? There are several ways I can convert. So one easiest way to convert that is string dot value of value of integer value. It will automatically identify the i3 value of i3 and then semicolon. So that means it has been now converted into a string. Right? So first let us finish up this. So then if concatenate it, I can also say addition of, I am just typing now additional value, addition of 5 plus 10 is, right, string of that. So plus is the concatenation operator string of this. So I can add all these information. I can give as an additional information to the log. So addition of instead of i plus 10, I want that i to be taken. Then I need to convert that i because I cannot use directly the integer. So now I converted. Let me run the step. Let me run the script. How many people are that on development background? So you can put it, if you anybody has a development background with Java, you can say yes. If anybody not having development background, if you don't answer it, I consider it as having, not having a development background. So now we just execute. So as of yeah, there are one person, yes, they have J6 Java, so two, two people say, yes, they have a development background. So first, if for development people who are having a development background with Java, they may not be, find it difficult, right? So for others, very simple thing is, what type of characters we manage? Is it a string character? Is it an integer? Most of the time, you will get it into these two, within these two. So when I, when you see here, when I say i1 plus i2, and when I say here var1 and plus var2, right? So there is a distinct difference because it's a string concatenation, indirectly takes care of concatenation, whereas it's an arithmetic operation. So, he automatically manages the arithmetic operation along with the string manipulations. So, if I just come back to the report, you can see here now RFT training, RFT training, and system mode I3. For system mode, I don't have to convert. System mode accepts even integer to be passed. I don't have it, there is no issue. Whereas when you go into the log info, log info requires exclusive conversion. So addition of 5 plus 10, the 5 is a numeric, this is a hot-coded value in our case. 10 is a hot-coded value right now and value is 15. 15 is a dynamic value. We have taken the variable i3. Whereas 5 and 10 is the variable as it is. There is no change in that variable. So this, if you practice little bit, it becomes very simple. The thing is you need to remember, that's all. Now, the same thing, what I'll try to do is, I'll make it as integer. So, integer, I declare it i4 now, equals i3 plus i1. I can declare it in that way also. Integer of i4 equals i3 plus i1. So that is also allowed. When I do in this way, then how do I do log info? Log info. Right? I say now, adding 
आई थ्री प्लस आई फोर प्लस आई वन टू आई फोर वैल्यू इज राइट जियर आई यूज कंसाइडनेशन ऑपरेटर आई यूज नो आई फोर डॉट टू स्ट्रिंग So if I treat it as an integer, I don't have to use string dot value of i3. That I don't have to use. So because if I use, for example, I just end this for end the line. So now if I say i3 dot, you will not get anything here. You will not get an integer because it is not considered as an object. Whereas if I make it as i4, you can see the intelligence over here. Because i4, you make it as an object, integer as an object. So if you put var1, var1 dot, so you can see the object because it is an object. It is considered as an object. These are all the supported methods for that object. So all the supported methods are available for you to use. So now I have made this. This is also another way of managing the integers. Right? So integer I can give i is capital. Small int it is a considered as a local. It is not considered as an object. So if I want to convert that integer, then I have to use small int. I have to use string dot. If I consider it as a big integer, I need to use i4 dot two string. That's all. Very simple. I will get an integer to convert. So both, if you see here, if I run this, you can see both are working. Tomorrow will be the last day. Tomorrow we will extend our session with the Java script, and some of the final points that we have, in case if you have missed any, if you have any more any questions on this, you can also bring in those questions as well. Now you can see here, adding i plus ten fifteen, adding i three plus i one to i four, value is twenty. So i fifteen plus five, it is twenty. So this. It's simple string manipulation. Now I can do a two string. I can also do a concatenation. I can, I want to concatenate. I can do a concatenation as well. String concatenate is a part of the string. For example, string var four equals <coughs> var one. Dot concat string var two right this also is allowed so I can do it in this way of var one dot concat var two that is also allowed so log in for var four since log in for I don't have to worry about Because it is already a string, I don't have to do any conversion or anything to this. If I var one is equal to one, I want to convert it as an integer. Yes, we can do that as well. Same way, string dot two integer. Like two string, you have done. You need to do it as two integer. So that is also possible, provided that is real integer. Otherwise, you get a error message. Could not convert the value. Right, so this is also allowed. So now we have seen simple variable declaration, assigning the value to the variable, and integer. Then we have done with concatenation of integer. That is, I want to concatenate two integers. 